What's up you guys, my name is Prentai and welcome back to another video. Um, today we're going to be doing 10 things that bartenders love while they're working. I've already done 10 things bartenders love, but this is 10 things bartenders love when they're working. One thing I want to point out is last episode I did get a lot of grief about, you know, I'm an asshole, why do you do this to people? I do want to point out that I did say at the start of the video, I don't do any of those things, I am not a dick. This is just things that other bartenders do or can do if people are assholes to them. Just want to get that out of the way. Number one is being passionate with products, so you know, recommending things to customers, selling products you really like and know a lot about, having that really good product knowledge. I love it when someone asks me about a beer that I know a lot of or a gin I know a lot about. Um, just Rattle all off them and then being amazed at all the facts you know. Absolutely love it, one of the best things about being at work. Number two, moving on from sort of the recommendations is the creative freedom you get with the job. So the ability to, knowing these products, create whatever the hell you want that's gonna work really well. Now one I, I have created recently that I love to sell to people who don't really drink whiskey but want, or don't like single malt whiskey but want to drink a blended whiskey but not just neat or on the rocks is something that I call a, it's a monkey shoulder uh, jam teeny which is kind of like, uh, well monkey shoulder is a blended whiskey and a jam teeny so it's kind of like a jamble which is like a, usually a spirit and, and jam mixed together and like a martini so it's the monkey shoulder, sweet vermouth, jam, bit of lime juice, beautiful flavour, it's kind of like a sour as well. I just love the creative freedom. Number three kind of links again with the creative freedom and the recommendation of products, and that is the job satisfaction. I love it when somebody loves a drink I've made for them, or you know, I love when I do something well, or I just enjoy a shift. Like you get really good job satisfaction from bartenders. It's wonderful. I love it. Number four is sort of staff incentives. Now every place usually runs a staff incentive, uh, and what that means is you know you don't have to do anything extra. You basically do your job, but you're trying to push products that maybe going out of date, or you're trying to sell, and for that you get rewarded. So you just get rewarded for doing your job. Basically, I love it. So it's either like a bottle of wine, a bottle of champagne, a bottle of beer, um, extra pay, whatever. Staff incentives are one of the best things about bartending. Number five is I get to chat to customers every day. I can just have a general chit chat about how their day been, are they on holiday, what they're doing, what they're up to. I have this regular guy that comes in, we talk about skiing all the time, mountain biking, holidays. It's brilliant. You get paid to stand there, make drinks and chat. What's, what's not to love about it? Number six is the fact that I get free food when I'm working. What's not to love about free food? Who doesn't love free food? Like, obviously, because I work in a restaurant as well, we have a kitchen. Uh, obviously, restaurants have kitchen, they cook food. Um, but, like, on my break, I can... I'm not supposed to get whatever I want, but I can, because I'm good friends with the chefs, um, and I'll, I'll touch on this later on, but, you know, I can ask for something, and I usually get it. Obviously, I'm not going to go out, like, out of the way and ask for, like, a £45 steak or whatever, like, a burger, if I want a burger, I want some chicken, rice, whatever, soup, chips, you know. As long as I don't go over the top, like, I can ask or get pretty much whatever free food I want. It's brilliant. Another good thing I, that I love about working as a bartender. Number seven is the discount, and, and this is one of the best things, like, who doesn't love a free drink or discounted drink? There's nothing better than like free booze and um, I love it I love the fact that you know as a bartender I can get discount on drink number eight is I'll never have the same day twice a week or in fact never the same day twice in a month every single day is different okay I'll be making similar drinks day in day out but the the way I'm making them or who I'm making them for or the order I'm making them is always different it's always a nice challenge a good change and it stops being like monotonous and boring like a nine to five sitting in an office in front of a computer every day is really boring making different drinks different days and spicing up and making it interchangeable is really good I love the fact that I, I don't get bored at my job because I'm never doing the same thing twice number nine is something I kind of touched on earlier um, but not really and that's like having banter at work like great banter um, having banter with like the floor staff and the bar staff as well is good but the most fun that I have is banter with the chefs now we are good friends but we always slag each other off like all right you prick how you doing uh what's happening you cunt and I want to point out like when I'm seeing these words in Scotland they're not really offensive like the word I know you guys might be shouting oh my god he said the word cunt I don't like nobody in Scotland will take that as an offense like you're a good cunt you're a nice guy and um, thing you need to realize that in Scotland like, we swear a lot and it's part of like our language to swear and nobody takes it offensive because it's not seen as offensive that's why swear words or that's why the word cunt is kind of taboo and I'm not going to shy away from saying it because it's taboo in other places in Scotland it's perfectly fine um, and we just have great I just, get have, I just get to have great banter at work I just love the fact that I can slag you off I can threaten I'm going to stab you give me food I'll stab you you prick or uh, like just just having fun, mucking about, making stupid things out of food and taking pictures or drawing dicks in their coffee, like just I love the banner I get to have at work. Number 10 is the last thing and that is 
it sounds weird when I word it, but having power over people. Now, I don't mean be like being able to boss them around or whatever, like staff members. I meant the fact that you have the power to give someone a good night. Like, you, because you're serving them the drink, you control how drunk or kind of control how drunk they can get, whether you underpour or you overpour. You can control if they're going to have a great night by hooking up with someone, oh look this guy's, you know, here, here. Or you control whether they're going to have a bad night by like, serving them slow or whatever. You have a great power over people and how to manipulate them. And I don't, I, that's not what I love, I love the fact that I can make somebody have a good night. So that's the kind of power that I love over somebody. So if you guys have enjoyed today's video, if you have feel free to smash that like button, it'd be much sweet and greatly appreciated. We managed to smash 250 likes on the last bartender related video, so if you can try and smash 275 this time guys, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Make sure you let me know what you want to see next time on this kind of series in the comment section down below. Also if you have enjoyed this sort of gameplay in the background, me switching up, um, let me know. Or if you just want me to revert back to the old style where it's like just me and the camera. But I am aware it gives you something else to watch and I'm very animated as you can tell from my hands moving right now. Uh, but let me know what you think, whether you want the, the old style of just me and the camera or you want the new style of the gameplay, whatever it may be. Other than that guys, make sure you go check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and my gaming channel. Links to them will be in the description. And until next time, I have been The Prentai and I'll see you all soon.